The roads are going to be wet this morning. I'm Michelle Wargo, and I'll have a check of your travel times coming up. That's right, Ike. So right now, big problems. If you need to make it from the attractions to downtown Orlando, you can't. All lanes of I-4 right now are shut down between the Osceola Parkway and 536. We are dealing with problems due to an earlier crash involving a deputy. Right now, it's at the intersection of Orange Avenue and Sand Lake Road. As you can see right now, southbound lanes of Orange Ave remain shut down, but we do have a tow truck on the scene. So so that's good news. Hopefully this will get cleaned up here in the next 15 to 20 minutes. I'll keep you updated throughout the morning. Jason, and we're still dealing with those visibility issues along I-95, and it's the thickest between County Road 5A and the beach line this morning. So as you hit the roadways, this is what it looks like right now. This is I-95 at the beach line. As you can see, traffic is getting by smoothly, but we do have those foggy conditions in the area. Same thing goes here in Sanford. This is I-4 at County Road 46A. As you can see, some foggy conditions. Here's Michelle Wargo. Thanks, Amy. We do have a couple of crashes this morning, one on I-95 and two on I-4. Four. This one's on I-95 southbound, just south of US-1. As you can see here, the accident vehicles are off on the shoulder and southbound traffic getting by just fine this morning through Ormond Beach. Now, if you're heading out on I-4, this is I-4 westbound at World Drive, where we do have a disabled semi here off on the shoulder. But again, traffic not affected, getting by just fine. And this is a crash on I-4 westbound at Enterprise Road. Again, this one is off on the shoulder and traffic is not affected. Right now, all traffic on I-4 is up to speed.